Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is week four in History 310, and we're about to embark on some skillet licking, booty kicking, jerk whopping, boot stomping, up close and personal, tell it like it is. California history. And in particular, we're going to be talking about the gold rush and the uh, con Constitutional Convention and a little bit about one part of California history that's not always the nicest. So let me just go very briefly into each of those. In chapter eight, you read the first part of that in week three. We were talking about what would California be without the gold rush. And this week, you're going to be learning more about the economy. Uh, that developed in California as a result of the uh, gold rush. And you're going to be talking about maybe some of the negative effects of it, particularly on the environment. So I want you to be paying careful attention to that. Chapter 9 gets us into California as a state. It begins to get consciousness as a part of the United States. And in particular, you look at the Constitutional Convention of, 19, of uh, 1849, 1850, and then our statehood in 1851. Um, you're going to learn about how California had a big role to play in things like the Civil War, uh, in things like uh, slavery, in things like partisan politics, things that we don't necessarily associate California with. But there they are. So I hope you are uh, get something out of that. And then chapter 10 talks about vigilantism or the idea of taking the law into your own hands. Uh, the book gives several examples of that. And what I'm going to be asking you to do is to examine the causes of it that Rawls and Bean mention. See if you think if in any way it was justified and whether or not we still have the idea of separatism uh, in California today. Speaking of separatism, there's an article on the state of Jefferson, uh, which is an idea that's been floated many times in the last several decades and still being talked about today, probably as much now as at any other time. Uh, so I'd like you to read that over. That's from the New York Daily News, and there is a reflection question on that in the discussion forum if you choose to answer that. All right, if you have any questions, please get in touch with me. Happy reading!